right. Hey, good evening, guys. Hold on one second. Guys, hold on one second. Get that muted. Let's see what I got going on. All right. Hi, good evening. This is Tara with Tara Beth Stamps. Right. Oh. Um, I'm an independent stamp up demonstrator here in Mid Missouri, and I'm going to do another um, card tutorial tonight. I'm going to switch this so it's not so crooked. Hopefully, that's a better view. Um, so tonight, I'm going to be using the Petal Park um, bundle that includes this stamp set as well as the punch. Hey, Mary, thanks for joining as well as some, um, oh, that made that worse. Um, some something fancy, maybe that'll do it. Um, so I'm doing a double easel card, which I love. They're super fun. Um, I'm going to have it out on my, um, blog tomorrow with all the dimensions. Um, if you've got any questions, shoot me a, a question. Uh, in the comments and I'll hopefully catch it. Otherwise, I'll get it when we're done. So this is today's card, just a double easel card. And as you see, there we go. That's what it's gonna look like. It's got that cute little fun fold. Um, this is the, I think, let me see what the name of it is. This is the Regents, Regency Park DSP. It's gonna be available in the new catalog with the uh, as part of the suite for the Petal Park, and it's absolutely beautiful. It's got your blues, your balmy blue, your Night of Navy. It's got some um, Daffodil Delight, some So Saffron. Looks like we've got some Shaded Spruce. Um, so here's some of the pages, and then we'll flip it over and do that. So you can tell there's just some gorgeous paper, um, a really pretty embossing folder coming with it. So, we are also using the Something Fancy um, stamp set. So, that's available in the new mini that'll be available in January. Yeah, Mary, this paper is, oh, I'm already using tons of it. I think I went through half a pack this weekend. So, it was, it's gorgeous. So, I'm going to set these out of the way and get started. Okay. With any of my double easels cards, I do like to use the Simply Score tool. I'm gonna pull out a couple of sheets that I have cut here. So the first paid thing I have, and like I said, all of these dimensions will be available on my blog. What the heck? This is a 12 inch sheet. How is that even possible? I have no idea where I got a 12 inch sheet of Knight of Navy. I need to do a little trim in here. Hey Susan, thanks for joining. So we're gonna take an inch of that off here. Well, that definitely threw me for a loop. All right, so this is a piece of four and a quarter by 11 sheet of cardstock. I am gonna score this at five and a half with my Simply Score tool and I'm gonna set it to the side. I am then gonna take a piece of Balmy Blue. Hey Karen, thanks for joining, thanks Susan. So this is a piece of 10 and a quarter by four, and this is gonna be scored at two and a half and at five. So that's all the scoring we're gonna do for this um, double easel card, fun fold, however you wanna call it. And so what we're going to do is we are first going to fold that um, balmy blue in half. And maybe I didn't have that measured right either. Nope, I've got that right. Okay, we're going to fold it in half. And we're going to burnish it. I'm going to go with it because I think this is right. And then I'm going to fold at the two and a half marker and I'm gonna burnish that as well. I'm gonna use some liquid adhesive, and I've, like I said, I have everything um, cut out tonight. Hey Rosie, thanks for joining. Your cards were beautiful, ladies, this afternoon. We had our team meeting, and um, Karen and Rosie um, 
showed a card tutorial as well as myself and I think they were all just gorgeous using one of the older suites in the can annual catalog because you don't want to forget about that beautiful stuff in the annual catalog. Okay, so I'm just creating a little bit of a mat here with the Knight of Navy and the Balmy Blue. And I need to peel. Wow. We're going to peel a quarter of this off. Here, I thought I had everything all done correctly. Okay, so that looks better. So I'm just using some liquid adhesive because it works great with these fun folds just because it has that wiggle room to move around. And with liquid adhesive, just remember less is more. That'll get you a nice even tone, okay? Now I have a, another piece of the matching DSP with the Knight of Navy. And I thought those sheets looked really good together. All right. And we're gonna create that nice frame with the balmy blue. Okay, I have a piece of basic white. So this is gonna be one of those super mega heavy cards that you're gonna need a lot of postage on because number one, there's a lot of layers Number two, there's just a lot of paper just to create all of these bases, but I feel like you need each layer. You can't really omit one without ruining the card base. Okay, so you can see that it's net, that the DSP, the balmy blue, and the white. And then we will bring our Knight of Navy card base, burnish it really good, and we're gonna hear this onto the base. So this is what's going to create our double easel card. So you can re replicate this with any colors that you like. Make sure I've got it going right. And any DSP that you have right now. Okay, so there's our card base right there. While we're at it, I'm just gonna go ahead and adhere just a little bit of DSP to another piece of basic white. This is gonna go on the inside. So we'll just get that out of the way while we were working with the glue. Okay. So I'm gonna leave just a little edge right there on the side. And that's just to give that, that inside panel just a little more pizzazz. Rosie, I love Night of Navy. I, I, I change what my favorite color is all the favorite color is all the time, but I really, really, really love Night of Navy. I think it looks stunning with just about everything. All right, so my color combo here, I'm gonna use polished pink, my favorite Night of Navy, well favorite today, and then Granny Apple Green. These three colors today I think are dynamite. So I am going to take my polished pink. And let's see here, let's do the outline. So this P Petal Park has gorgeous stamps that you can use. And you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna double check and make sure that I'm stamping this so that it'll fit right in here. Okay, so we know how. So we want this going this direction. All right, so it, it, you've got your outline stamp and then all you have to do is pull out these beautiful filled in stamps. And with stamp sets like this, I like to, I'm gonna stamp off, use the same color versus using two different tones that way. Okay, I'm gonna line that up carefully and stamp and you can see you've got two different colors by using, hey Jamie, Sue, how are you? Um, by using that second generation. So while I've got this here in my hand, I'm gonna go ahead and use the punch. So this is the Petal Park Build a Flower Punch. And so it's perfect for layering as well as just using them by themselves. 
I'm gonna set these flowers to the side and then we will do the green part. Let's shut our stamp set, our ink pad and I have a piece of basic white. Hey Sally, thanks for joining me. Um, a piece of basic white that I've cut with the scalloped contours um, die set. And I'm gonna take my granny apple green and once again, I'm gonna do the outline first. And this is a pretty big stamp. So sometimes I use my staphoriatus, but this one I'm just going to move around until I find this spare spot. And it looks like that'll work. Okay. I'm gonna bring in my cleanser because I wanna, I don't want ink all over my fingers while I'm trying to work because I only have one size of these blocks. Need to order another one. Okay, so as you can see, this is the solid. And before, I'll go ahead and peel that off. Before I stamp, I'm going to make sure that I've got my orientation correct. So that's going to be the way it goes. So I'm going to ink this up with the green, granny apple green. And I'm just going to grab a, sh grab a piece of paper that I've got over here. I'm not using that DSP anymore, so I'll get rid of that. All right. I'm going to line it up the best I can. And hopefully my head's not in the shot and give it a good stamp. There we go. So I'm using that second generation is what it's called, stamping off for that. So let's see here. I am going to use the something fancy sentiment. Hey Lori, and I'm using this thank you over here in the corner in Night of Navy. And I'm just gonna put it well, we'll put it right there. Perfect. And now we're going to add it to the card base. The card. Here we go. So, I know I've been using liquid adhesive a lot, but as you know by watching my videos, I love to use different adhesives for different things. So, on... Fun folds and things that need a little more strength. I'm either going to use tear tape or I'm going to use stamp seal. So I've got my stamp and seal there. I'm just going to find where I want to center this at so that I have an even edge on both sides. And I'm just going to seal right there. Okay. Now I'm going to take my flowers and just arrange them however I want them. So I usually go with the largest flower first and then kind of build. Um, there we go. I kind of like that. So I think what I'm gonna do is I think I'm going to do that medium sized flower with a little bit of liquid adhesive I'm gonna flip that over. I'm gonna roll it around like that. And that's about where I want it. I'm gonna take some Stampin' Dimensionals that I forgot. Oh, I'm glad you like this color combo too. Greeny Apple Green is, I think it looks perfect with the uh, polished pink. So I've got a Stampin' Dimensional. I'm gonna add that right there. And then I'm gonna kind of play with this flower and I think I'm just gonna go ahead and do that with liquid adhesive as well. So I think I used two Stampin' Dimensionals on the first one, but just one on this one. So now one of the things we could do is we could add some embellishments in this center to give that a little more um, but I am going to use the Adhesive Back Milky Dots. These will be available January the 5th, along with everything else you're seeing tonight. And I'm going to go ahead and use the blue ones here. Let's see here. And I'm going to use three, I think. Just got to figure out where I'm going to put the third one. I think I'm going to put it right there. Perfect. All right, so this is card is almost done. Oh, Mary, I'm glad you like it. 
All right, set that aside here. We will bring in that DSP or that um, DSP and basic white for the set inside. We're gonna pull out that Knight of Navy again. And so since this is a thank you card, um, I thought that may the good come back to you go well with would go well with this. So the reason I do the DSP before is so that I kind of can go ahead and center my sentiment with the DSP in this side then. And it's straight. Yay! All right. So as I said, this is just about done. I'm going to give a little liquid adhesive on the outside here on this basic white and open my card base. And there it is. Being careful not to smear any of that. So here's that card right there, easel style, showing right there like that. So what I've done for the envelope is I'm just gonna go ahead and use some of this coordinating cardstock for the outside flap of my envelope. And I liked the stripes to coordinate with my little polka dots. Give it a really good smash down there so the glue is not gonna ooze out anywhere. I'm just gonna give a quick snip. So the catalog goes live May the or January the 5th. I'm gonna post information on my paper share this week on my blog. The blog, my blog will have the dimensions as well as a PDF available tomorrow afternoon. So if you've got any questions, shoot me an email. All right, so there's that. Here's today's card. Thanks so much for joining me on your Sunday night. Um, oh, hey, Karen. And um, I hope you guys have an amazing week, and I'll see you back here next week. Thanks. Bye.